안녕하세요 여러분 Welcome to my latest video So as you know like we have, because of the COVID-19 kind of pandemic thingy like every one of us we cannot go traveling outside for up to one years already and I've been missing that feeling of traveling So in this video I'm going to review myself during the time when I was traveling to Korea for the first time oh, It's actually four years ago in 2017 that trip is really like a very important or a very meaningful trip to me and also with the people that I love because I actually first time I went a trip with my sister okay with my elder sister and at the same time I also invited two of my best besties you know during that time so every time of the year and like maybe like every month I'll actually like get through all, all of these beautiful photos just remind me back that oh my god I really miss those time when I was in Korea so now today I'm going to do it with you guys yeah so before that if you have not subscribed to my channel so you please do subscribe if you think you will like it oh my god now let's open up one by one to check it out so it was during 2017 so um, it was really like a wild idea because we actually ordered the we, we booked the flight like one year ago and we actually get like very cheap tickets from AirAsia during that time so I was like no I have to get this it's like around 300 ringgit like for, for one way and like both ways it's around like 600 or 700 ringgit so it was like really really cheap that those times when you have like grad sales in from AirAsia and you're just like gonna grab that air tickets I really miss those time though yeah so I start out with these. Okay, I took a photo of the of the aircraft from the sky. Yeah, and we actually took a midnight flight. So when we reached there, it was already in the morning in Korea. Okay, I really miss that. So the first impression of Korea is always Incheon Airport. You know, like it, I, personally, I am very interested to to arrive to Incheon Airport because like you, you always watch them in the k-drama and yeah so this is the place where you will always see the k-drama they took the scene of this airport but this is actually not the departure hall or the arrival hall but it's actually like something like a transport hall or something where you have like some cafes you have some like cinemas in there and it's where you will get to to buy some like the the tea money cut yes you'll get to buy the tea money cut yeah this tea money i just put it here <laughs> This tea money card is where I bought it in the Incheon airport Exactly this spot Like I mean, it's somewhere around that spot that where we get to buy this from a vending machine so, And during that time, I'm slimmer So yeah, if you see me, I'm a cuter, so I'm younger So please don't judge by that <laughs> yeah, It's 4 years ago people, you know I was 20 years old that time, okay And we actually booked an Airbnb So this is like an, a, a, a slight view of my Airbnb Airbnb looks yeah and my Airbnb actually stays in a place uh, in a place like it's called Hyoshan Kongwon and it's actually near like the Seoul station yeah it was like a few station after the Seoul station so this Hyoshan Kongwon I found it is very charming because it's like a small neighborhood in Seoul so when I just step down you don't really see much tourists but you see most locals from there and and from transportation wise actually is very convenient because from our Airbnb to um, the subway station is around like the walking area of, like walking distance around 10 minutes and from there you will like found some restaurants you know from some chic tang and also like convenience stores so like all of the things that you need is actually there in the Hyojang Kongwon in my place of stay yeah. so it's around 3 minutes walking distance from our room from our Airbnb it's, this is like a perfect very very like local kimbap store it's very small you know it's, it's like a small room but they make it into a kimbap store and there's so many kimbap so many types of kimbap as you can see here like koma kimbap soro kimbap or chongi kimbap nochi kimbap so we don't know what kimbap is there so we just simply order some and it's really really cheap so this is the kimbap i mean so delicious so i this, this was one of my first time to eat the authentic kimbap so it's something like a sushi but um, I think there's like a special the ingredients inside is is not like sushi I mean they have like their own kind of like ingredients inside and they have a lot of flavors 
according like there might be seafood, there might be ham, there might be cheese. Uh, in during that night, we actually go to an underground market. That was called like uh, I, I'm not sure which underground market we went to. Underground shopping market is like a huge underground underground shopping mall. Yeah, it's really really big. And what they sell, the one that I go mainly they sell like fashion clothes and men and female but of course i think more more of the store are female fashions so we just have we just come to this place um, in the underground shopping mall it was our first dinner first meal i ordered was tosok kimimbap portion is so huge and i was just so surprised but during that time because we are, we are so hungry so i actually finished it and it was so nice you know this Toso Bibimbap is the best I had so far yeah, and I'm so satisfied after eating it. It's around, I think it's around 6,000 won or something which is like a, a standard pricing in Korean meals. Second day, I'm going to talk a lot of that because second day is literally one of my best life moments in my, in my life history. Yes, ta-da! So we finally reached Everland. So actually me and my sister, we choose to go to choose one day to go to Everland. Both of us because we think that we want to go to a theme park. Because both of us, we never actually went to a theme park before. Yeah, it was my first time going to a theme park. Um, so that's why I'm so excited for Everland. And I just told my friends that I have to go to Everland when I go to Korea. So. Yeah, so this is the entrance, very glamorous entrance of Everland and um, the price we actually book it from like something like K-Look kind of thing and it's around like 200, 300 ringgit I think if not mistaken it should be like less than 300 ringgit but you get a full day pass So in the morning, uh, when we reached in the morning, it wasn't the crowd wasn't that many people so we took actually a lot of pictures and we were so excited and all the things are just so good so nice i don't know how like like how they actually managed to grow lavender in summer like it's so pretty and these trees still exist though. i thought this tree is just like, as a seasonal stuff where they put this and then maybe next year you won't see that but this tree still exists until now so if you miss this tree you can go have a look and take a picture of that so Everland have a lot of like like a tiny park yeah, so the first thing is oh, we have to see the panda so you can able to see panda in the, the Everlane though. Okay, I don't know why. I just took the back of the panda. Because I remember I think they're like sleeping. Panda is always sleeping. Okay, so I think we saw some bears. But this one is kinda cute, but I forgot what bear is there. See this bear is kinda cute. This owl land. <laughs> okay, we have penguins. So we have flamingos. <laughs> I really forget much. Oh, we have tigers here. Now we have tigers. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Now, yeah, most of the animals are sleeping though. Oh, this tiger really, really enjoy, enjoy him or herself. So we have more animals. We have like monkeys. Hi, hi monkeys. So yeah, it's kind of boring part. I'm so sorry. The camels. Just different type of animals. I think. Oh, I think this is the right because I saw hats. Yeah, there is a place where you actually will, will go into a bus, okay, a special bus, and it's like a safari concept. They will they will drive you and to to into that safari world, and you can see like the tigers just next to the car or something like that. Lion just beside you, but most of them they were just like sleeping because it's like afternoon time. It's a very special experience for me because they are quite they are very really close. Like you see the giraffe, they literally like is like next to the bus for that. So you can really like close contact with them. And this bear is so big. I mean like this is my first time like getting so close with a bear. So I never know like bear is like so big. This doesn't looks real, right? But this is real. The bear is just standing next to the bus. So we are like whoa! Like when the bear is standing, we were just like you know just. Is so excited. Yeah, and they are interacting. You see, that's so cute. These two bears are interacting. Oh my god, those time. I hope you guys are well in there now. Okay, so I have some beer. Okay, this is haram. Okay, so you have you can have some beer. Okay, and one thing is also the Christmas tree in Everland. It's always there. That's what I also found out. 
after four years, it was still there. Just see, I mean, like it's so nice to have the view and everything. I really miss Korea in this sense. I really miss going to theme park as well. Um, and because of how I actually know Korea since I was young, like you know, studying in Korea to go Korea, like to experience being a Korean life. It's always like one of my dream that I want to achieve but of course it's not something easy right I mean if you want to go to study in Korea you have the scholarship and if you want to have got a job in Korea it's not easy so the best way is to travel to Korea and I achieved that dream by my own during when I was 21 so I feel like I was really really fortunate for myself because I have the opportunity to go to Korea with my friends, with my family during that time and having such a beautiful memory with them. And it was, I, well I shared you guys with just a small part and you can see like how I really enjoyed the trip during the first two days. So since I've shared with you my first impression of Korea, so of course do share yours down in my comments and let's see if what is your impression when you just wish to Korea if you ever travel to and what is your impression when you just eat the real Korean food in Korea I'm curious if you have the same reaction with me so I think that's all for my video so if you like this video please subscribe like and share if you don't it's okay but let's see you in the next one bye Hmm? Life. Ah. Hmm. Mm.